Okay, so um, this is my first vlog post. Um, I just want to say now that the stuff that I'm going to talk about is very specific to me and may not be to another person. Um, I'm going to talk about my disassociative attacks and my seizures and my tick. So to begin with, um, I developed my tick back in 2015, about a week after we moved to Wales. We moved from Kent, um, so it was quite difficult on the family, um, but new beginnings and everything like that, so we didn't really care. Um, and my tick, which is currently messing me about at the moment, um, has come back after about a month of being away. Um, I was in hospital um, a couple, about a month ago now, because um, it all kicked off again. Um, my dissociative attacks are my blackouts and obviously seizures are seizures. Um, but yeah, my tick, I remember it being in my neck the majority of the, um, the first week. And then after that, it kind of moved everywhere else. Um, and I woke up this morning with it in my chest so I couldn't breathe. Um, that was quite painful. Woke up, had a, a blackout. And then the dogs came up and tried to wake me up. It didn't work. Um, they were licking my face, Sandy was scratching my hand um, and Maggie was licking my other hand and it just didn't wake me up. There was no way of me waking up. Um, the only way that I get out of them is slapping my face really, which is painful. Um, it's like having something else take over your hand or take over your body and then it just it just doesn't work it just it's like something else um so while i'm talking to you guys now right um i can feel my tick and it's probably going to come out soon but it's it's in the back of my neck running up the side of my head and that's when i know it's going to happen that's how I know that I'm going to be in for a bad day or a bad week or a couple weeks. I have no idea how long it lasts anymore. Um, I woke up this morning, like I said, and had a blackout that lasted 23 minutes. And the longest one I've had was in hospital for 45 minutes. I had seizures mixed in with that and my mum was beside me trying to tell me to wake up and I physically couldn't and that was quite difficult in itself to hear someone you love try and tell you to wake up but you're basically paralysed on a bed trying to wake up but it's just it's just not working um, it's quite difficult it's very difficult my mum's a nurse as well so she's been in nursing for 30 plus years and I still remember the first time she ever saw me have a seizure she burst into tears she, I didn't know what was happening she didn't know what was happening and yeah it was horrible to hear her crying because it's something I can't control um, however I wear a medi alert on my left hand because people need to know and people need to know that this is something that happens to me um, and as I say all of this stuff that I'm saying to you now is very specific to me so other people could feel different things i other people wear helmets every day because they fall down just in the middle of nowhere because this attacks them every single day. This doesn't attack me every single day. It's just when I'm under a lot of stress, I guess. And at the moment, there is no reason for me to be doing this. And that's probably the most annoying part about it. Um, 
I went back to college and I knew that when I, ah, that there's the tick, that when I went back to college, um, this would happen. So it's, um, so it could be the, um, So it could be the the schedule that's doing this, um, waking up earlier, just trying to get back into a routine, but I don't know. I physically have no idea why this is happening. Everything seems fine, everything's good in my life at the moment, and I don't know, I don't know, I don't know why it's happening, I don't understand it. Um, as you can see as well, the tick is quite violent um, oh, when oh, when I first got my tick it was in my neck and I felt like the Churchill dog like my head just kept bobbing and bobbing and bobbing and I couldn't stop it we tried music that didn't work my head would just go along to it um, we tried other distraction techniques and again they didn't work. Um, I don't know how to stop it. I don't know how to stop it. Um, I recently started antidepressants um, under the neurologist because the neurologist thought that this the, they could help. Um, they help, don't get me wrong. Um, I feel a lot less stressed, like a weight has been lifted, but it's just not helping with the tick symptoms, the blackout symptoms, the seizure symptoms, it's, there's just no way, there's, there's no way of it fixing that, um, and I don't understand it, I don't understand why at the moment this episode is going on, it's been going on for two days now, so I, it started up yesterday and it's gone on to today, um, but over the night I had one seizure and one blackout and that was 13 minutes but I was ticking most of the day and I kind of knew it was going to happen I, I knew that I was going to have a blackout or I was going to have a seizure they usually will come hand in hand um, but it's just something I've got to live with at the moment um, every doctor, neurologist I've seen has said it's gonna it's gonna get better it will eventually go it will do this it will do that but it still stops me from learning to drive I'm 20 years old at the moment and I can't drive that's the one thing I wanted to do when I moved to Wales was learn to drive and I've had my provisional license for the past four years and never stepped foot in a car to learn to drive because of my head because I can't um, <clears throat> and that's quite hard because as a 20 year old you want to have freedom you want to be able to go out you want to be able to drive to some remote location and just chill there but I can't because my blackouts prevent me and my seizures prevent me don't get me wrong since my blackouts and my seizures have happened I have been able to identify when it's going to happen and um, um, oh, I've lost my train of thought. Um, ah, oh, no, I have been able to identify when it happens and what it feels like when it's going to happen. So, like, last night, for example, I called my mum and was like, Mum, I think I'm going to have... Oh, fuck's sake. I think I'm going to have a seizure. And right now, while I'm on camera, I think I'm going to have a blackout. So, this is what happens when I'm about to have a blackout. Um, I have 
really drunk speech, which is annoying. Um, and I just feel really tired. And that is really annoying because I want to do stuff and I can't do that stuff because if I stand up there is a very high chance that I'm going to fall back down again and I don't want to be doing that, I don't want to fall down and hurt myself but here we are and who knows on camera you may even see me have a seizure and that would be fun <laughs> This is something else that happens when um, I have a blackout. I usually get uncontrollable laughter. So I can find things that I shouldn't find funny funny. So for example, me having a seizure, I don't I don't find that funny, but right now I find that hilarious. There is specific ways that I, I take it, if you like. I usually laugh when I have a tick. I laugh when I have a blackout. God, my head is banging. And, I don't know, it's stressful when I have a seizure. Like, my body's just under stress. And it's like, I can't do it. My head hurts. Oh, and right, so there is like different ways that my head works. So, at the moment, my head feels like there's just something in the side of it, right, like here. And it feels like it's just a pain and I can't get rid of it. And then there are other times where my brain feels like it's on fire. And I was told by a psychiatrist, you can't feel your brain and I laughed at him. <laughs> and I thought to myself, you be in my head for a moment, you'll feel your brain. It's just it's different and it's a pain to have to explain to every single person I meet this is what happens to me this is what goes on and this is blackout brain now so there is a high chance I'm gonna black out but blackout brain is usually the most truthful brain and it's like you've had uh, like 15 shots of whatever and you're just gone you just you're not there anymore it's horrible I don't like it but it's something we gotta deal with it's something I've got to deal with at the end of the day that one's very good <laughs> at the end of the day I just looked at the camera I've been doing this for 30 well 14 minutes now so 14 minutes and at about 10 minutes blackout brain started in my arms if I put you on the table that's in front of you you may be able to to see what the seizures look like I don't know if I'm gonna have a seizure though 
all I know at the moment is that I can't speak properly. And I'm probably going to pass out. So, I'll put you on the table and see what happens. It'll be quite exciting. Well, not exciting, but interesting for you guys. A day in the life of Abby for me. It's just what happens. Can't bother to. There's no point in me telling you about it when you can just see it happening, you know. I didn't plan this, I just knew it was going to happen anyway. Like, But. You can see it happen. So we'll put you on the table and see what happens. If I move that there, just lean back. So you just gotta wait for it to happen, really, because. There you go. A blackout and a seizure in one. Um, that's what happens. And then I'll be fine afterwards, as you can tell. I'm awake. Um, I'm not slurring. I'm okay. Uh, just Hi, really. Um, I whacked my shoulder and that hurt. Um, that was quite painful actually. I, I lied, that was very painful. Um, I do that quite a bit nowadays as well. But, yeah. Um, But yeah, I thought that it might be a good thing to show people exactly what happens. Uh, some people think that we fake it and that it's not a real thing. People have also thought that it's epilepsy and it's not epilepsy. I don't wet myself. Um, 
I don't bite my tongue. Even though I've come very close sometimes. I've come very close to biting my tongue. Um, it's, sometimes it's just trying to get used to something that messes up the life, your life for a bit. But it's just what I gotta deal with.